2023 may be a year worth remembering for China's power batteries. China's leader in power batteries, CATL, officially announced that it will realize the industrialization of sodium ion batteries in 2023. At present, the sodium ion batteries of the CATL can reach 400 kilometers and will challenge 500 kilometers in the future. The news instantly caused heated discussions and the stock prices of sodium ion battery companies collectively rose. Therefore, many people predict that 2023 will be the first year of the industrialization of sodium ion batteries. Some optimists even say that sodium ions will replace lithium batteries. Of course, there are also those who oppose it. They think that the price and performance of sodium ion batteries have no advantages. It is undeniable that sodium ion batteries are the most controversial topic in current new energy power batteries. So, can sodium ion batteries replace lithium batteries? Why is the sodium battery that is about to be eliminated suddenly revived? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. Unexpectedly, when everyone thought that sodium ion batteries would eventually be eliminated, it took a sharp turn and re-emerged in the market. In July 2021, CATL released its first sodium battery and announced that it will be mass-produced in 2023. The United States Natron Energy and CATL are almost at the same pace. They will also release their sodium ion battery products in 2021 and build the world's largest sodium battery factory. In addition, many battery companies in Japan, South Korea and China are also deploying, and even India has joined the battlefield. India's largest private company spent a huge amount of money to acquire the British Sodium Ion Research Company, announcing its formal entry into the sodium ion battery industry. In short, sodium ion batteries are suddenly all the rage. So the question is, why can the sodium battery, which is already almost eliminated, become popular all of a sudden? The reason here is still relatively complicated. There are many kinds of games behind it, one is the competition of routes, the other is the competition of industries, and the other is the competition of resources. According to the news from CATL, the ideal battery life of sodium batteries in the future is about 500 kilometers, while the battery life of lithium batteries can reach thousands of kilometers. The distance between the two is still very large. In addition, the lithium battery life can guarantee more than 3,000 charge and discharge times, while the sodium battery can only last more than 2,000 times. Therefore, just from the performance point of view, it is almost difficult for sodium batteries to completely replace lithium batteries. But lithium batteries also have two fatal problems, that is, the price is too outrageous. Lithium carbonate is the main raw material for lithium batteries. According to statistics, in November 2022, the price of lithium carbonate per ton is as high as 570,000 yuan, while in 2020, the price of lithium carbonate per ton is less than 50,000 yuan. That is to say, the price of lithium carbonate has soared 12 times in two years. At the World Power Battery Conference held in July 2022, when Zhang Qinghong, chairman of China's Guangzhou Automobile Group, took the stage to give a speech, he said in front of CATL, the price of power batteries is so high, are we working for you? When Zhang Yuchuan, the founder of CATL, gave a speech, he said, this is the upstream raw materials that are being hyped by capital, and CATL is also a victim. The next day, Wu Kai, the chief scientist of CATL, responded again, saying, we are also struggling on the verge of profitability which is very painful. Well, although the sales volume of Chinese new energy vehicle brands is the first in the world, they do not make money at all. Taking BYD as an example, they sold a car, and the actual profit was only 1,466 yuan, which was less than half of that of BMW, GM and other companies. 
So, who earned the money? The answer is upstream raw material companies, so downstream companies have been dissatisfied with it for a long time. Therefore, companies such as CATL and BYD have either purchased lithium mines themselves or directly changed their track, and sodium ion is a very good track. Why are companies such as CATL so keen on sodium ion batteries? In fact, it is not only the price of lithium batteries, there is another issue that deserves more attention than the price, that is, the issue of lithium resources. Data show that the world's proven lithium resources are about 80 million tons, most of which are concentrated in South America. Bolivia, Argentina, and Chile alone account for more than 60% of the world's lithium mines. Behind them are Australia and the United States, and then China's 7.4%. These countries are deeply influenced by the United States. Once the international situation changes significantly, China's lithium resources will face the problem of being restricted. At present, 85% of China's lithium resources come from imports, which is higher than oil, 72%. If there is no way to solve it, the potential threat will become greater and greater in the future. Let me give you a few examples. The Serbian government stopped China's Rio Tinto's lithium mine development project in their country, and the Chilean court suspended BYD's $61 million mining contract. Moreover, Canada, on the grounds of national security, asked three Chinese lithium battery companies to divest, and even Chinese companies were not allowed to invest in projects in Chile. Therefore, although China has mastered all the production technologies of lithium batteries, the problem of raw materials must also be solved. So, are sodium batteries the best antidote? In fact, Sodium batteries and lithium batteries are complementary to each other, rather than sodium batteries will replace lithium batteries as some people say. The reason I have also said is that sodium batteries are limited by the mileage and the scope of application is limited. They are generally used in energy storage, buses, low-speed electric vehicles and other fields. These fields pay more attention to cost, but do not need long-lasting lithium batteries. The reserves, cost, and industrial advantages of sodium batteries can well replace lithium batteries in these fields. First of all, its reserves are very rich. Sodium ions exist in the form of sodium chloride, that is, table salt, which is found in oceans, salt lakes, and other places. In contrast, the content of lithium resources is only 0.0065%, a difference of more than 400 times. Second, sodium batteries are very safe. Although lithium batteries have been upgraded for several generations, lithium-ion batteries are still prone to thermal runaway when they are overcharged, punctured, collided, and squeezed, leading to combustion or even explosion. Even Tesla and BYD, the leading car companies in the market, have experienced phenomenon of spontaneous combustion. Once the lithium battery spontaneously ignites, it burns very quickly, and the chances of passengers escaping will be greatly reduced. The nature of sodium ions is more stable, it has better high and low temperature performance, and can work normally at minus 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. At minus 20 degrees Celsius, the battery still has about 90% of its charge even after attenuation. Even in the tests of safety items such as acupuncture, extrusion, overcharge, and overdischarge, it can achieve no fire or explosion. This can dispel the concerns of some consumers. Secondly, the price of raw materials for sodium batteries is much cheaper, only 2,000 yuan per ton, which is one hundredth of that of lithium ions. This is why sodium-ion batteries are more favored by capital than solid-state batteries and supercapacitors. In summary, these are the factors that make sodium batteries popular. So, are you optimistic about sodium-ion batteries? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. See you.